Thank you. I appreciate your concern. Um, so what I'd like to do to go through this first problem is we look at this and we say sine of uh, pi divided by 2 minus x. And initially, you could obviously look at, oh, this is the cofunction identity, which we obviously know by using the cofunction identities, we know that this equals x. right? But what we want to do is it says use the sum and difference formulas to prove or to simplify. And then therefore, we can prove that it's going to equal cosine of x. So I look at this. I have the difference of two angles. So by using the difference of the sine function, not the sum, therefore u minus v, we know that this formula is going to be the sine of u times cosine of v minus the cosine of u times sine of v. So all we need to do to pretty much plug in this problem is we need to label this is our u and this is our v. Now what we're simply going to do is apply each one of these. So now I can rewrite the sine of pi halves minus x, where pi halves is my u and x is my v. So I have the sine of pi halves times cosine of x minus uh, cosine of pi halves times sine of x. Well, now we need to evaluate for the sine of pi halves. Well, pi halves is right here, which is a coordinate point of 0, comma 1, where x, remember, cosine represents the x coordinate, and y represents, or the 1 represents the y coordinate. So therefore, the sine of pi over 2 is going to be 1 times cosine of x minus cosine of pi halves is going to be 0 times sine of x. Therefore, 0 times sine of x is going to multiply to give you 0, just leaving us with a cosine of x, which we were able to confirm in our first part of the problem. So that is how you do the difference formula for the sine function.